Hey folks, and welcome back to the garage for another video on Dale the truck. Today we've got to get the fuel tank down so that we can weld the inner cab corners and rocker panels. So stay tuned. So before we jump right into this video, I've got a word from my buddy Robbie over at United by Trucks. What's up guys, I'm Robbie from United by Trucks and while it's a little wet and cold down south on December the 19th at 8 p.m. Eastern I'm gonna be curled up by the fire watching the Car Guy and Six Fan Christmas Special on Old Car Auto Guys YouTube channel. So join me on December 19th at 8 p.m. Eastern for the Car Guy and Six Fan Christmas Special. We'll see you there. Thanks Robbie, it is gonna be a great show you're certainly not going to want to miss it so now what we're going to do is we're going to jump into getting this gas tank which sounds like it's full of fuel down out of here and sitting on the ground and out of the way so that we can get in behind these cab corners and rocker panel here and weld up those inner panels so let's see what we got to do to get that done so in case you guys didn't know, this hump in the floor on both sides is to accommodate the fuel tank underneath. Yeah, that's right. This fuel tank is almost five feet long. It starts right here. And it comes all the way back here. Some of these trucks even had saddle tanks. So there was one on the other side that kind of went up underneath the driver's side and uh, they held quite a capacity. So we've got to get this thing down without spilling any fuel out of the filler neck, as well as without breaking any lines up top here. So what we've got to do normally is to take this strap off. There's a nut right here. I don't know if we're going to be able to get that off or not. We may have to take the entire bracket. Up underneath the other side, it's a little bit different because there's a bigger hole right here to get a socket in there and loosen up that strap. So we'll start with the easy thing first and that's to see if that uh, strap bolt is, uh, and nut is gonna free up from each other. So that strap bolt is not coming out. So what we're gonna have to do is take these off, the 9 16ths, there's four of them and there's uh, two different sets. So eight bolts all together, we're gonna get them out. We've got the jack underneath to catch it. All right, so now that we've got all eight of those bolts out, all we've got to do is disconnect the uh, supply line and the uh, gauge, and we should be all set to just kind of lower this down. So I'm gonna get a pair of uh, pliers. We'll get that little clamp off there, slide that hose off. Hopefully we don't get fuel everywhere. That's going to come out of there with no problem, but we don't want it to be gassy. So, let's just see what happens if I give her a little tug. That's not too bad. Find a spot for that. bolt in it for now all right so now that we've got the gas tank out of the way let's take a look at our progress so far up underneath here we've got our rocker panel welded to our cab corner this is our inner cab corner and what's I guess what's left of our inner rocker panel so what we're gonna have to do is I've got the piece already cut to fit for along here which means we're going to have to clean up this surface right here, which is going to be what we're going to weld to. Also clean up this surface along the bottom of the rocker panel so it gives us something to weld to there as well. 
Then we'll take our inner cab corner that goes uh, down here. We'll clean up this uh, section right here and it's going to come down and weld to the rocker uh, right down in there. So by the looks of things this is going to be real fun with the grinder in here in this confined space. Uh, at the great risk of my beard getting singed by sparks, I may have to tuck it into my shirt. Anyways, let's get it cleaned up. Okay, so we've got our rocker grinded here. we got the inner piece grinded here. I've got the inner structure all cut to fit. Now what we're going to do is I have measured out very evenly four inches apart. Why four? Well, because that's the number I chose. And I took a uh, punch awl and the hammer and I kind of just punched in where the holes are going to go because what we're going to do when we get in there is we are going to plug weld this into place rather than doing trying to get a hole gripping long weld. I mean, it's easier for me because it's just one quick little zing inside the hole and then move on to the next one. So now what we're going to do is just drill those holes out and uh, go fit it in. Might even get it tacked into place today. So this is where it's going to get fun. Me laying on my back underneath the truck, risking my beard and this wonderful Snydertron 3000 t-shirt from all the sparks that are going to happen when I weld. Sorry Josh. Anyways, sometimes you've got to make sacrifices. All right, well, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Here we go. Well, we've got our inner structure all welded in with plug welds. Everything's good. It's held into place. The welds aren't that bad. Minimal grinding, and I'm okay with that. Now, the last thing we got to do over here is cut out this inner cab corner structure to fit this little hole, and then we're done with this side. So, let's get cutting. So we've got our inner piece cut to fit, and almost zero uh, finagling to get it up in there. Uh, we'll be able just to clean these surfaces up, do the same thing. We'll do a uh, drill some holes and uh, get that plug welded in across there as well as across the top part up there. And there we have it. The inner structure for the rockers and the inner cab corners are done. And well, all I got left to do is a little bit more welding actually grinding. Grinding is what I'm going to be doing. Um, and cleaning up the mess of welds that I've made underneath. Then we can throw some primer and some paint on it just to kind of seal those bare metal edges up and then move on to the driver's side. Hopefully the driver's side will go a little bit quicker simply because we kind of know what we're doing now as far as how to cut things out and how much we should be cutting out. So that pretty much concludes this video and what we had left to do on the passenger side. Um, Looking forward to moving over to the other side, getting that thing looked after, and uh, going from there. So, so I did get confirmation yesterday that the lowering kit is on its way. It's about four days out. It's coming from the west coast. And once we get that, we won't be installing it right away because I do want to get these cab corners and rocker panels done and out of the way for good. It's one less thing we have looming over us. As much fun as it's going to be putting that lowering kit on, we're just going to have to wait. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you, God bless. We'll see you in the next Day of the Truck video. Hey, folks. Welcome back to the garage on another video on the Day of the Truck. So what we've got... Hey, guys. Hey, folks, and welcome back to another Day of the Truck video. Today, we've got to drop the gas tank so that we can get welding on that inner. Today we're dropping the gas tank on Project Dale. Oh my gosh. Hey folks, welcome back to the garage. Mm. Hey folks, welcome back to the shop here. We're... Come on, do I need to write this stuff down? So before we dive into this video... So before we 